You may or may not know this, but I'm a magician. I do magic. Throughout my career of being a magician, I have used some particularly expensive magic props. With that being said, I have also used some cheaper ones. This one was $7. So my friends, in today's video, I have taken the liberty of purchasing some of the internet's cheapest magic tricks. And I shall be taking these tricks out into the real world to see if they actually hold up from the POV of a professional wizard. Spoiler alert. I am the professional wizard. Up first, we have the magic dice. What's the dice, my friends? In three, two, one. Oh, the dice has just had babies. That's all I know. And for that, I have given our first trick a nine out of ten. Up next, we got the magic baby hand. My friends, I have a big announcement that I'm actually really worried about. I know, might delete later. But that big announcement is that I am actually pregnant. <laughs> I know, I know, this is a really big moment for my life and to prove that I'm actually pregnant, let me just show you guys, look, look, look. I'm not actually pregnant. I just needed some context behind the magic trick. Oh my God, what is that? Look. What is that? <laughs> is that a baby? Yeah. Is it because I'm fat? Mm, I'll give the hand a 5 out of 10, not great, honestly. Next up, we have the diminishing cup. For this, I had to get some orange juice from the store and fill the diminishing cup to the top. Now, I'm not going to be held responsible for the fact that your mind is about to be blown. Because even though the diminishing cup is one of the internet's cheapest magic tricks, it is literally insane. It is. Okay, I guess I gotta prove it. We have a large glass of orange juice and a small glass. Watch very closely. Why do I even bother? Okay, that was a false start. Okay, let's go again. Hopefully this time I don't spill. Here we go. Large glass, small glass. Watch very closely. Boom! And the large glass actually fully fits into the small glass. This is one of the best tricks of all time. I actually performed it on none other than Good Morning America and the reactions are always insane. What? Fit into the small glass. <laughs> the diminishing cup has to be a 10 out of 10, no kidding. Next up, we got the magic coat hangers. So this trick comes with three colorful coat hangers. I'll use the yellow and the blue for demonstration. Now watch closely, because there is some that would say this is real magic, Harry Potter level stuff, you know what I'm saying? Watch closely. One, two, alakazam, three. And just like that, <laughs> The coat hangers literally link. Now, one of my best pals is called Joel. He is also a magician and he loves to see new magic. So let me pass you on to Joel to see what he thinks. Hi, I'm Joel. That's Joel. It's me, Joel. Jo Joel. You're gonna do the trick? Are you just gonna keep filming me or? In one, two, three, done. Oh, that's actually good. <laughs> Thank you, brother. No, that is good. That's amazing. Stop it. And you're amazing. I know. <laughs> and you're talented and good looking and beautiful. Done. <laughs> this can't be going online. Eight out of ten. Next up, we got the vanishing deck. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on, that look good. This is the box for the vanishing deck. Here's what it says on the back of the box. An amazing vanish of a full deck of cards in their case, right in front of the spectator's eyes. Top tier marketing as well. The vanishing deck's getting a lot of brownie points. But what about the actual trick? We have a deck of playing cards and we have a black box. The deck of cards goes inside of the box and it is now gone. Nothing more and nothing less than that. It's pretty cool. I'm actually performing some close-up magic at an event tonight, so let's hope this gets a good reaction. Nine out of 10. Next up, the magic vase. I started the video with this trick, but let me show you all again. Uh, we have a red ball inside a vase. We close it up, snap, give it a little blow, and the ball completely disappears. Seven out of 10. Next up, the vanishing coins. We have the coins, we have the jar, the coins go in the jar, and 
they're gone. Never to be seen again. Okay, I will give this one a five out of 10. Up next, we got the magic pen. Here it is. Don't look at me like that. I know that it looks like a normal pen, but you would be wrong. To demonstrate what the magic pen does, I'm gonna need a different t-shirt. Watch this. That was really good editing, let's not even lie. Okay, the magic pen, we take a magic pen, we draw a line on shirt. Oh no, oh no, however, I can make it disappear. I have untold amounts of fun playing around with this pen. I mean, just look at some of these clips. <laughs> Whenever anybody sees a line on their shirt, they immediately panic, but then I make it disappear. It genuinely is a really fun toy to play around with, but uh, just make sure you don't use the wrong pen. Nine out of 10. One of the main reasons I am testing the internet's cheapest magic tricks today is because my little cousin desperately wants to learn how to be a magician, but she's gonna need a little bit of practice. <sighs> So at the end of this video, I'm going to be surprising her with a handful of these tricks and hopefully learning these will keep her out of trouble because she is crazy. I'm not crazy. Next up, we got The Magic by Dan Rose. Yeah, that's right. I have my very own book that I released two years ago. It's called Dan Rose The Magic. Inside the book, it contains my life story and a bunch of cool magic tricks that you guys can do. Shameless plug, sue me. And here's one of the simple tricks that I teach inside of the book. Watch the card, bada bing, bada boo. Boom. Magic. But yeah, if you want to get my book that... Wait, what's that sound? Breaking news. Dan Rhodes' book, The Magic, is the single greatest magic book to ever grace the internet. And maybe that's being a little too humble. Dan Rhodes' excellence shines throughout the book, teaching you some incredible magic effects. But with all that being said, let's just hope Dan's new video of testing the internet's cheapest magic gets more than 5k views. Because for a channel with 26 million subscribers, that's nothing less than extremely embarrassing. Way to throw me under the bus, lady. 10 out of 10, obviously. Next up, we got the lights from anywhere. These are the lights from anywhere. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch very closely as we can take the light off the box. <laughs> put it through my mouth and then behind the back of the head. Ah, that's crazy. Last week I was in London and I literally spent hours upon hours playing with these lights. Not be good for me. But not only that, I mixed the lights with some other magic tricks I did, creating something even better. Open your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that reaction. So, so cool. This has to be undisputedly another 10 out of 10. Up next is the green hand illusion. This is the green hand illusion. To demonstrate, I'm gonna need a jacket. Jacket located. Okay, so the reason I need a jacket is because my hand goes through this part of the device. And when you push your hand through and cover it with the jacket, <gasps> look at that. Oh, it looks so bizarre. It creates the illusion that you have a extra hand. Guys, this may be one of the weirdest things that you can possibly buy on the interweb. My friend Emily came by the other day. We went to Starbucks and she enjoys playing with this thing a lot. I genuinely think she's considering making it part of her daily life. Eight out of 10, come on. Next up, we have the impossible puzzle. What makes this puzzle impossible, Dan, is what I imagine you are saying at home. Well, allow me to show you. Okay, so I can take my finger and knock this puzzle over. However, it is impossible for anyone else but me to do that. Now, you may be wondering why I've just randomly cut to a montage of me traveling to a different country. Well, the reason for this is a few weeks ago, I went to be a contestant in one of my friend's YouTube videos. But as I was there and had some free time, I wanted to see if anybody else could knock this puzzle over as well. All right, Mikey, all I want you to do, take your finger and just knock this over, okay? That's all you've got to do. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't do it. <laughs> You're such a wack. Go ahead, brother. Easy. <laughs> 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 
，对。那。对好，你去去了。Take give up. Yeah. The Impossible Puzzle do be a 10 out of 10. It's one of my personal favorites, I can't even lie. Next up will be the Magic Sword. I feel like there's no originality with these internet's cheapest magic tricks. I mean, why do they all have to say magic before them? I mean, we already know it's magic. Anyhow, I think we should cut to a live performance of this trick with my pal, Ethan. Okay, Ethan, the sword trick. Okay, Dan, let's Here see. Here we go, let's, let's go. do this. Whoa! Oh. Right. Oh. oh my, are you seeing this? <laughs> That's incredible, Dad. Whoa, let's go. Let's go. Okay, now pull it out. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, boy. You're a fraud. That's a zero out of ten. Next up, we have the spiral cup. This, my friends, is the spiral cup. This is what the spiral cup does. You asked for it. It's very, very messy. Watch. Whoa. Are you seeing this? Done. Alakazam. <laughs> I mean, it is a good trick, and it does certainly catch people by surprise when you perform it. I always enjoy playing with the spiral cup in public. It does leave a big mess though, so be prepared. Eight out of 10. Next up, the arm chopper. Okay guys, now this one, super dangerous. Ah! and super sharp. To prove how sharp it is, look what happened when I bought a carrot from the shop and placed it inside of the chopper. Oh <laughs> my, that is so sharp, bro. <laughs> Guys, I'm back with Ethan. Ethan, you wasn't so impressed with the sword thing, right? No, it was pretty terrible, man. Yeah. Pretty terrible, yeah. that's fair. Here we go, boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down on second thoughts. There's no way I'm putting my hand in that. Three, two, <laughs> I've got my arm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Such a drama queen. Such a... Oh. <laughs> well, my friends, I guess that concludes the video where I tested the internet's cheapest magic tricks. And I think it's safe to say that magic tricks do not have to be expensive to be good. But now it looks like there's only one thing left to do. Come in. Hello. Hi. Do you know why I summoned you here today? No. Right, have a look inside of this bag. <laughs> what have I gifted you with? A box. A box. And whatever that is. Is this everything you've ever wanted? No. No. <laughs> you're gonna learn these tricks and you're gonna be grateful, alright? <laughs>